Hey everybody, Pastor Steve here. Really glad you've joined me this morning for our Bible devotion. We are in Psalm 34. While you're opening your Bible there, I just want to remind everybody that this coming Sunday morning at First Baptist in Rock Hill, we're going to be observing the Lord's Supper in all three worship services. So I hope you will be here. Invite someone to come with you. All right, today, Psalm 34, and the verse that spoke to my heart when I read this psalm is verse 13, where he says, Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Let's read that again. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. I think that verse is the polar opposite of how our current culture works. Um, whether it's the media, social media, politicians, special interest group, this person, that person. In our culture, people tend to speak in half-truth, twisted truth, distortions, and sometimes straight-out lies. Because winning is more important than being honest in our modern culture. And so we will take something and distort it. We will take, and it's, it, what we're saying is partially true, but it's not the whole truth. We leave out part of it. Designed to either make me or mine look good and them or theirs look bad. But the thing is, a half-truth is still a lie. A partial truth, a distorted truth, is still morally, ethically, biblically a lie. We are so divided in our culture, in all of our institutions, just, just, just in American life today, that half-truth and innuendo and distortions are the norm, misinformation, and in and, and, and our minds... Because it's our side, we convince ourselves it's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, even if it's not that. And God, in his word, condemns this as sin. It's wrong. God's disciples are not to be involved in misinformation, distortions, half-truths, partial truths. And when it comes to living in a messed up culture like you and I live in today, some practical suggestions that help me and I hope will help you is I don't believe, I don't, I don't, I don't swallow hook, line, and sinker what I read on social media or see in the news or hear leaders or politicians on social media platforms or pundits on cable news. I don't, I, I don't take at face value everything they say. Because I just remind myself that probably for many of them, they are telling you partial truth. But leaving out other stuff so that you don't know the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. So I don't, I, I don't believe everything, and, and, I, and because of that, I definitely don't repeat it. I think it's wise for us to be patient you know, a lot, a lot of times something will pop up in the news or pop up on social media, and we repeat it because we swallowed it, only to find out a few days later, a few weeks later, that no, it wasn't quite accurate. And all of a sudden, you've got egg on your face because you believed and you repeated either an outright lie, untruth, or something that's only partially true, but still, because it's only partially true, misleading. So be Patient. Just because you see it on Twitter doesn't mean it's the Word of God. Just because somebody put it on Facebook doesn't mean it came from Scripture and it's of God and it's true. Don't be naive. Wait. Be patient because in time, more stuff comes out and then we're more likely to actually know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us, God. I would also encourage us, if we want to know the truth, to listen to different perspectives. 
read and listen to those who are very conservative and read and listen to those who are very liberal because when you do, you'll probably start piecing together what the real story really is. And only talk and only post on media, social media, only post, only talk, only, only repeat when you know it's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and quit, quit posting distortions because it doesn't honor God. Remember what God said here in his word. God's holy, inerrant, infallible scripture. He says, God says, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. What's deceit? Something intentionally designed to deceive people by only telling them part of the story part of the truth. That's deceit. And God says it's evil. And from his children, that is not to come from their lips. God expects us to be honest. And that's the hard truth. I'll see you tomorrow.